to help in that search. Local 2 is following a developing story that we first brought you last night at 10 o'clock. Despite being cleared of any wrongdoing, the Houston Port CEO says he has had enough and will step down when his contract is up. Local 2's Phil Archer is joining us live now from the Port of Houston. And Phil, in your last report, the CEO told you he's done playing politics. That's right, and today he told that to port commissioners, told them the same thing that he revealed to us yesterday, that he will step down from his job of running the port as soon as his contract is up next year, or sooner if a replacement can be found. He says politics is getting in the way of running the port. Dreyer told port commissioners this morning he won't stay on the job past next September. Dreyer told us Monday that he tried to run the port like a business since coming on in 2009, but felt frustrated by political infighting. I think I've uh, learned an important lesson here that politics is not something I want to be involved with. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to the business world. Dreyer made the decision after a district attorney's investigation cleared him of wrongdoing in connection with use of the port's tour boat, the Sam Houston. A local television station alleged Dreyer used the boat for a private party. The district attorney did the right thing and restored Alec Dreyer's unblemished reputation in this community. The port is still under review by the Texas Sunset Commission, which is looking into open meeting and employee pay policies. One of Dreyer's critics on the board is Commissioner Elise Lanier, who says the CEO may have tried to run the port too much like a business at first. I think he's a smart man. I think this is a different environment than what he is used to. I mean, I've been around government agencies for almost 30 years now, and uh, it's a lot different. You have to work with people and you have to negotiate with people. Commissioner Lanier says there have been improvements made under Dreyer, especially in making business dealings more transparent. Also cleared by DA's investigators, Port Chairman Jim Edmonds. The investigators were looking into Edmonds' business dealings with the port vendor. They issued a letter yesterday, yesterday saying they found nothing wrong. We're live at the Port of Houston. I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Local 2. Now